although he said for the three and a half years, this guy is going to be really focused on destroying and killing people. You understand? Because at that time, he's going to be cast down to earth. At that will be the middle of this tribulation. At that time, he's going to be cast down. Okay, where are we at? 25? Okay. And it says, but the courts will, but the court will sit, and his power will be taken away and completely destroyed forever. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah. Then the sovereignty, uh, 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 the sovereignty, power, and greatness of the kingdoms under the whole heaven will be handed over to the saints. Yeah. Listen, the nations are going to be handed over to the saints. Those who have followed Jesus Christ. God has his own plan. Yeah. You yeah. do what you want, but focus on God's plan because it's eternal. Yes, it okay? And it says uh, the sovereignty, uh, 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 the sovereignty power and the greatness of the kingdom uh, under the whole heaven will be handed over to the saints, the people of the Most High. His kingdom will be an everlasting kingdom, and all the rulers will worship and obey him. This is the end of the matter. I, Daniel, was deeply troubled by my thoughts, and my face turned pale, and I kept the matter to myself. Praise God. Amen. Now, that's God's plan. Okay? Now, I don't know how deep you want to look into this, you know, because I preach Jesus Christ. Came into the world, death, burial, resurrection, resurrection, giving life to anybody who accepts Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Because he conquered death, you will never die if you accept him as Lord and Savior. If you do not accept him as Lord and Savior, you will die, but it's not the death that we think of as a physical death because the word uh, 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 in the Greek, and we studied it one night, I can't think of it, Thanatos means everlasting destruction. So when the scripture says, if you sin, you will thanatos, it's not talking about a physical death. It's talking about you will enter into everlasting destruction. So we've got this whole system here, this whole world here, where we have one opportunity to get it right. One. You understand? Right here on earth, we have the opportunity to give everything to Jesus. And if we give everything to Jesus, we'll be victorious on the other side. Yeah. Amen. This is the most important focus of the whole world. Yet, they're under deception. We watch as they're setting up. Okay? We watch as they're doing things. We see the whole music industry under St. Terry Rule right now. Amen. And it's nothing like we were when we were kids. They used to try and hide it. Put it backwards in a song. Now they just come straight out and just tell you. So, the whole world's changed, okay? Satan is completely setting up. So when I went to the other church over there, I showed them the fire chip. They still have the package over there again. The next fire chip has really got my head going. <laughs> I, said, I said, why the fire chip got you? He said, because I was thinking, how is it that Satan is going to make everybody in the whole world only be able to buy unless they have a chip? Unless they have a mark. Because basically he was thinking it was a tattoo. He said, I could get somebody to get put the mark on me, or it could look fake. And I he said, I was thinking, how is he gonna be able to do it? But if the mark is like a Visa card, right? Because Visa is 6662. V V I is what? In in, in Rome. Six, okay? The S. In, 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 uh, I forget what language, but it's also six, you know. And then the A is a six. So you got, you really got six, six, six. Visa is six, six, six. Okay. Um, everything's set up, and they're continually on this thing being set up. My thing is, if 
you're a child of God, your main thing is you don't want to be off focus. Amen. You know what I mean? You don't want to start thinking about worldly issues right. so much. I don't want, I'm not saying abandon the world, don't even go to work tomorrow, whatever. Don't do that. Do I have to come back and do the best thing you loan me a dollar? No, I tell you, preacher job. I told you to focus on Jesus. You understand? If anything in the world got you so busy that you had no time to read the Bible, something is mentally wrong. Amen. Yeah, say that. The deception has sunk in. When you don't have any time for the God that created you and the God that died for you so yeah. that you could not enter Thanatos yeah. and so that you can enter into the kingdom of God and you have no time for him because your day is consumed by I got to study for this and I got to go to work here and I got to do this and I got to do that and then, yeah. then it's like, like five minutes at night you go. Lord, maybe God will stay, whatever, whatever. <laughs> and then it's like, so you're slowly losing focus. Amen. Make the main thing the main thing. And the main thing is Jesus. Yeah. It's Jesus Christ. Amen. They're setting them up. I'm telling you, let's go to Psalms and finish up in Psalms chapter 2. I wish I could just go on TV and just warn the whole world. You're being set up. Let me show you, you know what I mean? Because they're being set up, man. It's like you're being set up. The whole world is, they're teaching you how to sin. They're teaching you how to go to hell. They're teaching you. And you wonder why I was explaining to the guy over there. I said, oh yeah, when I come back we are going to talk about Pinnell Blanc. Because it's amazing to me that Satan knew about the Pinnell gland before me. You know what I mean? I was like, Lord, how do you know about this? But Satan knew about the Pinnell gland when he met Eve. Right. He's trying to get that third eye open so he can get some demonic influence inside. Right. Right. right? right. And yet, Satan promotes in this world things that open your Pinnell gland so that demons can continually have activity inside of you. Okay, so what does he promote? Alcohol and drugs, right? They're trying to make marijuana illegal. You know why? Because it's one of the highest sources of DMT that opens your spiritual system that allows demonic possession. Wow. And alcohol is, don't you see, don't you love those beer commercials? Everybody's having a good time and they act like they, they're not drunk. Nobody's, nobody's ever drunk or, or throwing up. Everybody's just like, hey, this is to your birthday. Sniffs. You know, all the commercials that say they just put them on. And all these people are thinking, oh, it's so much fun to just go out and have a drink with my friend. You, go, you don't go out and just have a drink. You go out and get drunk. Right. So, Satan is teaching you how to go to hell. Yeah. But they don't understand the setup, okay? The virus chip is just part of the setup, okay? Because he's got to have something to keep a track of 7 billion people and make sure that, they don't, that they're under his full control. Right, right. See, I can go to the bank right now. If they turn off my card, I got to call them to get it turned back on. Yeah. That means they really in control. They're Bank of America turned my card off. They said we saw some activities that just didn't seem right. I said I'm at Magic Mountain buying tickets for the kids. What are you turning off the card for? Turn my card back on. But that let me know if they want to turn my card off and say no, I would have just been there like, please. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this electronic money controls human beings. Yeah. If they turn it off, you're no good. I'm saying you're being set up. Now, the scripture says this, because I got two minutes, praise God. The scripture says this. Until the church leaves, Satan can't do anything. That's the only thing. Yeah. Okay? Until we leave, he can't do everything. If he's in so much control, why don't he just gather up Christians right now and kill them? He can't. There is a spiritual force within the world that's holding back the evil Amen. that Satan wants to do. Hallelujah! Can't do it. Amen. Can't do it. Amen. Can't do it. Amen. Can't do nothing. Amen. Can't do it. Amen. Can't do nothing. Amen. But once we leave, it's 
strong and crack. But it says even when he comes, he's not going to come and say, I'm evil saved. He's going to say, I'm the Messiah. I've come to give you peace. And to structure the world so that we all get along. No more religious wars. We're all going to have one religion. And he's going to set them up like that. Yeah. Now, as he's setting up with his viral chip and he's building these concentration camps and they're, they're, they're delivering caskets to the concentration camps, and while he's doing all of this, right, this is what God has to say. Psalm chapter 2. Why do the nations conspire and the people plot in vain? The kings of the earth take their stand. And the rulers gather together against the Lord and against his anointed one. Who is that? Jesus Christ. Let us break their chains, they say. They want to break the chain of God, right? Let us break away from God. We don't need him, right? Let us break their chains, they say. Let us throw off their fetters. The, the one enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. Then he rebukes them in his anger and terrifies them in his wrath, saying, I have installed my king on Zion, my holy hill. <laughs> How you trying to set up a king in the earth when I've already established that Jesus is going to be king? And that the earth belongs to the saints. It's foolishness. Everything they're doing, all this money they're spending trying to, trying to destroy the world and everything, it's foolishness. And God says he's in the heaven like this. <laughs> I'm taking my church out of the world so you can't hurt them. Right. You know what I mean? He's just laughing at them. Because as soon as they get it all set up, guess what? On the cloud like this. <laughs> On the cloud, right? Angry though, not just gliding on the cloud, angry. Yeah. It says, with the breath of his mouth, he burns them all up. Yeah. Yeah. It's done. Okay, let's clean this mess up so we can start with the anyway. It said God's laughing. Yeah. Okay? That's the real focus. The real focus is God's plan. That's right. And if Satan got you fooled thinking that you don't need Jesus in this world, uh -huh. first of all, you're not going to be blessed in this life because you have no one to support you. That's right. Because the world ain't supporting you. That's right. God will help you day to day because he's trying to get you mentally by somebody that will tell you about Jesus. But you got no really no support. And us as Christians, man, I wish I could tell you how good we are. Amen. Even if you take something that the world thinks we need, God's like, don't worry about it, I got you. Right. Amen. Amen. Get you another one of them, I'm good. Amen. You said, oh, here, yeah. Pastor Ben, could you put a hand like that? He go, we, we got it so good. Yeah. yeah. We got it so good. Hallelujah. Yeah. Blessed. Yeah. Not worried, not stressed yeah. about the world or Satan's plan. Yeah. But if we get to the point where we're not focused, then we become like worldly people. Amen. Then we start stressing, oh God, I don't know how I'm going to pay my bills. Oh God, oh God, oh God. And God's like, you, you don't even, you're not even a citizen here. Me and you connected. Amen. You don't have to worry about that. Amen. God has a plan. But if you play games with this, you will lose focus and you will lose out on what God is trying to do. Amen. And he's trying to get you into the kingdom. Yes. Okay? But he needs your cooperation. Amen. He needs you to stay focused. Yes. Focus. Focus. Yes. Okay? Jesus first. Seek me first. The kingdom of God and all my righteousness and all this stuff will be added to you. Seek God first. Praise God.